Hey guys, Johnny here with OhioCannabis.com. I'm at the 2018 World Cannabis Conference sitting here with the one and only very famous Freeway Rick Ross. How you doing, man? I'm good. How are you? This man, I'm good. Thank you. This is a man of legend here. And if you don't know about him, <laughs> you probably should. They so, will. They'll know in a minute. Yeah, tell me a little bit. Of, just give everyone a brief rundown of, of how you had your life stolen from you by being lied to by the government. Well, um, I got involved with drugs at 19 years old. Uh, I started with $125. Uh, before I got arrested, I was making some days $3 million. Uh, Cincinnati <laughs> was one of my places. Um, eventually got arrested at 28 years old. Um, got a life sentence. While I'm going to trial, I find out that uh, I was connected with the Iran-Contra affair, uh, Nicaragua, Ronald Reagan, George Bush, Oliver North, with that whole um, CIA money so, for yeah. weapons and so crazy and drugs and it was over my head yeah I yeah. didn't understand uh, I was young you know uh, I'm hungry it, you're hungry at the time <laughs> very hungry very determined to make something out of myself yeah. you know and and I feel that the only crime I really committed was that uh, I was looking for opportunity you know I was looking for a way to uh, support myself I was a hard worker and it just so happened that the first person that gave me an opportunity was a drug dealer. Yeah. It happens, you know, it puts people, uh, sets people up for life sometimes. Well, you know, the thing about uh, uh, the black market uh, is that it doesn't discriminate. You know, it's the equal opportunity mm -hmm. uh, of business. And, and I'm hoping that now that cannabis is going legal, that it should still be an equal opportunity business. And what I'm saying now is that it's not that. Uh, you know, they're putting uh, uh, criteria on the, on the board that... You gotta uh, be a rich guy to get into it. You gotta be a rich guy. Why yeah. are we making it for rich people and, and, and they already got money. We need know? that American dream to still be available to many people. Exactly, and, and they're locking the, the average everyday Joes out of, the, out of the game, you know. It shouldn't be a criteria. This should be a business, do you have good integrity? Will you do what you're supposed to do? Not, do you have $15 million in the bank? Uh, or, 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 or do you have rich friends, a rich uncle, somebody that would loan you the money to go buy the buildings? Mm -hmm. No, it, it's totally wrong. And it's not the way this industry started. This industry started with people with nothing. And they and built people it that up. People that were willing to take risks for big reward. Exactly. And unfortunately, or for some rewards. Some of them didn't even get big rewards. Well, some of them just got small rewards. But at the end of the day, now that it's been found that this is not what they have been made out to be. The government had, had made this monster out of marijuana, uh, and now we find out this might be the miracle drug for, for, for most of our ailments and yep. our psychological uh, affairs. You know, I was just sitting here with a, with a guy, a veteran, and he was telling me about how uh, marijuana has been helping them. And now that they find this out, the people who been researching, been studying, been working hard, now they're going to be locked out of the industry because they don't have the money to show uh, 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 like big corporations. And, and the same people who used to pay for prisons to lock us up, now they're going to be in the industry reaping all the benefits forever. Yep. Because once they get a hold to it, they're not going to never let it go because they don't sell their businesses. They, they keep them and keep milking them and keep milking yep. them and, until you, you're bone dry. You know what I think one of the interesting stigmas in this industry is that now that it's legal, um, people are looking down upon the people that did it illegally for such a long time as drug dealers. You know, as, that's crazy. It's that's crazy. That's and it's crazy. And, and now that it's legal, they're they're okay with being a drug dealer, but they're still going to look down on people that did it on the black market because you had a conviction. Right. Exactly. So you had a conviction, you can't get in. Right. For the same thing now that they're saying, oh, we made a mistake. Well, if you made a mistake, clean the convictions up, uh, expunge the, the guys who, who who got convicted for for marijuana. Uh, uh, um, and just give them a, a clean slate, you know? Yeah. Make it a, a, a level playing field, and that's why uh, uh, I'm working with an organization named Annika, I'm working with Bo Money, and that's because she's fighting. She doesn't want to be in the industry, she doesn't want the license, but she does want this to be a level playing field, and, and, and I think that it's so important that uh, uh, we as a society back everyday people and stop getting behind people only because they got money, only because they're famous, only because they can uh, 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 um, buy 
positions that the rest of us can't buy. We got to run. We're being pushed off the main stage. Tell us about your book and where people can can get get. This get is at. the autobiography: How to Get Everything You Want Out of Life. My story. You're gonna learn everything. Cincinnati. You definitely got to go get it, Cincinnati. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> hey, thank you. Hey, thank you, man. I look forward to, to staying in touch with you and seeing how definitely. you develop. We're gonna do some more some more interviews and, and, yeah. and educate the people, man. It's all about education. Also, I just started a new website called FreewayMillionaireClub.com. Go check it out. Uh, I need a few more members to join. Be a part of it. I love it, Johnny Science and Freeway Rick Ross. Have a good one, guys. Amazing.